and thank you for watching this tutorial on Jscape MFT server. My name is Chris Frisch, Technical Support Specialist with Jscape. In this tutorial we are going to cover the Trading Partners feature of Jscape MFT server. I will walk through the basic setup of Trading Partners and explain what this feature is for. This is part one of a two-part tutorial and in part two we will go into this feature in a little more detail. But for now we are going to start by configuring a user account for trading for the trading partner side. As you can see I'm using Jscape MFT server for the trading partner side and I will also be using that to connect to this trading partner. Your trading partner does not have to use Jscape in order for this feature to work. Uh, they can pretty much use any type of FTP server software. So basically I'm just creating a user account on the trading partner side here for us to log in with. If you're dealing with a client that you're going to be exchanging files with on a regular basis, this is what the client will be doing to allow you access to their FTP server. The whole purpose of the trading partner feature of Jscape MFT server is mainly for use with triggers. Triggers will let you automate file transfers and other operations. When you have triggers set up to automatically upload or download files, you can use a trading partner that you have configured with these triggers. You also want to take note of the path that this user will have access to on the trading partner server because you will have to enter that path when you actually create the trading partner. Uh, mainly the benefit you get with trading partners is when you do not have to re-enter user account credentials when creating multiple triggers and then you do not have to edit each of those triggers when the user account changes. All you have to do is update the trading partner. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to our server. Uh, now that we have a user account to log into our client server with, we can create a trading partner. Creating a trading partner up front is going to save you a lot of time creating and editing triggers in the future. It's pretty quick and easy to create and will save you some time down the road, especially if you have a uh, plan to create a large amount of triggers. So we have our server domain here, server1. Uh, here we're just going to click on the trading partners node and just click add. So you can see we have uh, four tabs here. On the info tab we can enter the name of the trading partner, the trading partner company name, and an email address. On the site tab we have protocol options, uh, the host, uh, we will be connecting to the port number, uh, the timeout option, of course the username and password. And as you can see there's several different protocols we can choose from here. On the key authentication tab we can select a private key file and enter a password for the key file. You can also select a host key if you have any configured. Uh, you can enable or disable that. Uh, we also have the miscellaneous tab. We can enter uh, FTP or FTPS post login commands but we will not be using um, any of those uh, for this example today. So we're just going to start by entering the name of the company uh, and the information uh, for the trading partner. We will just enter our own email address here as well at the end. So our trading partner company is going to be Acme uh, and they're a trading partner so we're going to name it Acme Trading Partner company is Acme. I'm just uh, going to enter my email address here. And on the site tab, um, I think we're just going to go with the FTP protocol here just for simplicity, but you have several options to choose from here. And I have my trading partner set up on a uh, specific IP address that I'm going to be using. We'll use the default FTP port number and here we are going to use the same username and password that we configured on our trading partner. We're going to leave the key authentication blank, uh, the miscellaneous uh, tab blank, and uh, we can go ahead and test our connection now. And as you can see, it was successful, it passed. Basically what it's doing is it's testing our username and password uh, against the host name and port that we configured. So we should have a operational trading partner set up here. And you can also test the trading partner from this screen as well. And we are ready to begin creating triggers with this trading partner now. 
There are several built-in trigger actions that are made specifically for use with trading partners and will allow you to simply select a trading partner from a list. In part two of this tutorial, we will go into some detail about how you might want to use the, this feature and how to create triggers using them. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about Jscape MFT Server, please visit jscape.com.